In this short video, I'm going to illustrate how to use some of the aspects of the Quick Calculator tool when creating AutoCAD geometry. I was recently asked this in an AutoCAD class, and so there is a little bit of confusion about how to execute this tool. So I'm just going to give you some simple examples today and some ways where it can work, and you know, just to give you some warnings. So I'm going to start out with just a simple line, and I'm going to create my line and I'm going to want to do a calculation to establish the length of my line. So what I can do is I can right click in certain tools and I'm going to have this option for the quick calc. <clears throat> and within the quick calc, and see I've done a couple already, I can perform some sort of mathematical operation. Maybe say like 18 times 3.5. So if I know I have to have three and a half inch increments and I want to know the distance of 18, I could get that value and then I go ahead and I hit apply. So if I hit apply here, you're probably thinking, well, <laughs> what's happened? I'm not actually getting a 63 inch long line. It doesn't actually anchor the value. But if you do look down in the command line, you'll see that's where the 63 ends up. So if I get my orientation right, I can just hit enter. This can work. Um, in another fashion too if you wanted to set your angle first like let's say a 30 degree angle and then I hit the tab key so I've already kind of locked this in if I right click and choose quick calc now I can do another value say 17.4 times you know uh, I don't know 6 10 16 11 something that I couldn't do on my own very quickly anyway I hit apply and now, as long as we stay in that angular orientation, again, in the command line, it gives me the value. I just have to hit the Enter key. And so now I've got this established as 191.4. And this can work in other tools as well. If I do a circle, for example, and I look at the radius. Right now I'm just setting the radius. If I right-click, there's Quick Calc again. And so we can say things like 16 times 3 for the radius. I knew that was 48, but again, sometimes I don't feel like doing the math. I just get my orientation set, and then I hit enter, and there would be that radius of 48. So it doesn't work all the time, though, and that's something to be kind of careful about. If I come over here to the grip, for example, and I click on the grip like I want to change the diameter, if I right click, now I don't have quick calc. So sometimes it's it's not always available just to be aware of that. And I can also use quick calc inside of the properties. I have the properties palette here. And so if I just want to change the diameter, I can do that. So if I wanted to make my diameter say 13.5 times 7, there would be my new diameter. I hit apply and now that resize in the circle. So it does work as well that way and just to confirm, yep, 94.5. So again, I didn't want to spend much time on it, just showing you how to execute the tool. The primary challenge with using the tool that I've found is just being comfortable hit looking down in the command line and hitting enter because it doesn't necessarily pop into your dynamic input. So it's not like locking down the 30 degree angle measure like I showed. So just be aware of that and you should be able to use that for um, scientific unit conversion and then like some of the uh, other options in the dialog like point to point. So again, just a brief overview. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave some comments. Uh, reach out and be happy to, to discuss it and maybe knock out another video. So thanks for viewing. Have a blessed day.